Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you are having an awesome day. So you know I love hauls, so I'm really excited about today's video. This is my first one since Black Friday. They're one of my favorite videos to film, and I've got a lot of stuff here. Most of it is totally new to me. A few repeats that I love that I've repurchased, but overall it is kind of like a whole new world with the products that we're going to be talking about today. You've seen a few reviews on some of my recent purchases. The new Grapeseed and Kukui line from Shea Moisture, that purple colored line, the, what is it called, Manuka Honey Custard from them as well I did a review on, and the TGIN Gel. So those are just a few, that's like a drop in the bucket compared to what we're going to be talking about today. So the first place that I got a bunch of products from over the course of these last few months is Walmart. They have really been stepping up their game. Some of us talked about this on Instagram Live. For the most part, the Walmarts in my area have like the same stuff they've been carrying for like three or four years, but one Walmart near me is just kind of giving Target a run for their money. So the first line that I'm going to be talking about is Mix Chicks. I haven't really talked about them much on my channel. They were one of the first few product lines that I tried during my first time ever being natural. I tried their leave-in conditioner. It didn't really do much for me and I wasn't really like dying to try the rest of their product line but they have released a few new products over the last few months that have different ingredients. I like the packaging and I can't wait to try it. So the first thing that I have here is their daily hair dress. So I'm going to be using this on dry hair to help with moisture see what it does for flyaways, putting my hair up into a bun, especially now that it's actually hot outside. It was like 90 degrees today, so I'm going to be needing something to keep my hair nice and hydrated. hydrated. <laughs> of course, this is one of my 3 a.m. filming sessions, so we might have a few gems like that sneak in the video, <laughs> but I want to keep my hair nice and hydrated as the temperatures start to soar, so can't wait to try this one out. Plus, it has avocado oil which my hair absolutely loves so the next thing that I have here I got kind of with my mom in mind but I'm gonna try it also and it is their curl sculptor so this is a lightweight styling product let me see if you can hear it you can almost like hear it so I can tell just from how it sounds in the tube that it's probably gonna be very very runny very lightweight kind of serumy gel type of thing so that's what I'm thinking that it's gonna be so my mom's hair is much finer than mine she has waves as opposed to curls so she doesn't need quite as much hold as I do for my styles so I think this will do really good on her hair but I want to test it out as well to see how it does on mine now this I think is much more up my alley. This is their styling gel. It has a firmer hold and also says it's flake free. It has awesome ingredients. It's got colt's foot leaf extract, dandelion, um, hops extract, lavender, rosemary, glycerin, which I know a lot of people aren't friends with glycerin at this time of the year, but my hair seems to do fine with it. Um, I did notice that this and the Curl Sculptor both have glycerin really, really high up there. So if you want to check this line out, definitely read the ingredients if you're someone who's sensitive to glycerin. But I'm excited to try it. But the thing that I am looking forward to trying the most from Mix Chicks is their Coil Kink and Curl Styling Cream. And this says that it's good for wash and goes, finger styling, two strand twists coils and spirals so, so I do quite a few of those styles but I'm gonna be testing this this out mostly on twists and then kind of see what the hold and the consistency is like but yeah again I like the packaging the ingredients are pretty good and I'm excited to see what my hair thinks of this brand now how long has it been uh 11 years later <laughs> since I've tried mixed chicks so we'll see how that goes so also from Walmart I picked up another curl maker since I go through even more gel than usual as the temperatures heat up because I do a lot more wash and goes which take a lot of gel. I use gel for my hair when it's dry to put it up into like buns and ponytails. So this is one of my old favorites that I'm also going to be doing a review on soon. So I wanted to make sure I had a lot of it on standby this summer. The Cantu Apple Cider Vinegar Root Rinse. I have seen quite a few people use this product, including Main Objective. I don't like doing homemade apple cider vinegar rinses. They've never done much for me. They actually make my hair kind of dry. So I wanted to try this out since so it's like ready-made. I like the container so I can just like get in there. So we'll see how this goes. Plus it was really affordable. I think it was like four bucks, five bucks. 
Now this is going to surprise you guys because you know the type of products that I usually am really into. So this might be surprising, but it is the Softy Mango Butter. This is something that my mom probably would have used in my hair when I was little. And the main reason that I wanted to get this is because I'm sure you guys have heard um, one of the big trends over the last ye few years or so was people using grease to do their twist outs because it's really good for sealing in the moisture even though it has some ingredients that aren't traditionally like given the thumbs up in the natural hair community but um yeah so it's got petroleum as the first ingredient but the rest of the ingredients are really good i just want to try it on my ends to see how it does with sealing in the moisture i don't want to put it anywhere else throughout my hair um i just want to kind of see what it does for my ends so i'm going to do an experiment with it as my sealer one of these days it smells so good and it was 88 cents so i was like you know what let's try it let's see what happens because my ends of course get very gnarly and crunchy especially with this last little bit of color that i have on the ends so i'm just curious and want to see how my hair likes it so shea moisture of course has released yet another line after my foray with the kukui and grapeseed line i was kind of like uh, i think i'm gonna leave shea moisture alone for a while because my hair just hasn't been responding well to some of the new offerings that they've had a lot of us have had like um in-depth discussion about that whole thing that's a whole nother video but this one did catch my eye because i do protective styles a very um a good portion of time that i wear my hair is in twist so i did want to try this line after researching it a little bit more and hear more about it and it is their protective styling line and it is the jojoba oil and akuba butter odor neutralizing mist is the first item that i have the second that i have is their jojoba oil and akumba butter track tension and itch relief serum uh, I don't wear tracks or, you know, I don't really know what this would be for, honestly, but I just mainly like the ingredients. It said it's good to calm and comfort cornrows, box braids, weaves, and extensions. So even though it doesn't say there specifically that it's just for, like, twists, I'm going to use it because I like the ingredients. It has one of those droppers, as you can see here. Let me see if I can take it out of the little the official box that come in. So I looked more so at the ingredients than what it said that it's for. Um, because I think it'll be good for if I'm just trying to use something to give my scalp some moisture while I'm wearing twists for like two weeks or more like those medium twists that I usually wear for like two or three weeks so yeah easy to get to my scalp good conditioning ingredients so we shall see about that one and the last two items from this line from Shea Moisture is their braid up and take down detangler this is to prime and restore before cornrows, box braids, weaves, and extensions. I'm probably going to use this as a leave-in conditioner. And if I do coils again, if I ever find the strength to do coils, I will probably use this to take them down when it's time for me to wash my hair again. So this has that same consistency as the raw shea butter detangler as well as the low porosity leave-in, I think it's called. Yeah, that kind of like thick Vaseline type of deal consistency. So I want to see if they perform different than each other. So far, I really like the raw shea butter detangler and I want to see if the other two kind of perform differently even though the consistency is super duper similar. And the last item that I have is the braid up conditioning gel with carrot seed oil and it says that this moisturizes and deep conditions again for cornrows box braids weaves and extensions so you know me guys i love a good gel so i'm going to use this just on some twists and see what happens because i go through gel so quickly so that is everything from the new shea moisture line that is so far only at walmart and i think it also has an edge gel or edge control but i didn't like the consistency of that stuff plus the ones that i saw at walmart always look real nasty like spilling out over the side mm. next up is this mask from l'oreal their extraordinary clay hair mask they call it a pre-shampoo treatment i don't know if i'm going to use it as a pre-shampoo treatment or as my shampoo standalone because that's how i normally use clays but this is mostly for people who have oily roots which i don't really have a problem with but i do have oil build up from my products because my hair naturally is very dry i kind of wish i had oily roots it would probably help 
the um, moisture factor in my hair a little bit better. So it says that you just put this on your roots and then rinse it out. But I might experiment it with the way that the directions tell me and then experiment with it the way that I normally use my clays. But it smells familiar to me. I used to use a lot of L'Oreal when I was relaxed. I think that's what I'm picking up. Just like a general kind of perfumey smell. I don't think it's ever going to be able to hold a candle to my Sorenzo clay wash. But I went and tried it. It was like five bucks. So I really do want to do a follow up to my favorite curly products under $10 video. Like a part two. So I am trying things that are from like places like Walmart and Target. that are easily accessible. So we'll see how this one does on my curls. Next up is another gem from Walmart that I wasn't expecting and they have the new Camille Rose Kids line. I was like, what? So this is the item that I wanted to try the most. This is their Sunday Glaze Clementine Leave-In Conditioner. Trini Girl Natural recently did a review on this and it sounds really good. I like the ingredients. The ingredients on one of the products has silicones, which I've never seen from a Camille Rose product. It's the product that is in that pretty blue packaging from the kids line it's kind of similar to this color so that one has silicone so i kind of stayed away from that but this one does not their brown butter melt mandarin oil hair balm now those of you who have been, been with me on my channel for a long time when i was filming all my videos on my webcam might remember that one of the kryptonite ingredients to my hair is orange peel oil and like mandarin oil like citrus stuff my hair usually doesn't like and I'm using it front and center in this product and the main reason I wanted to try it despite that is because that was years ago my hair might perform differently with it plus I really like the packaging so I'm gonna try it and hope my hair doesn't get mad at me it's kind of like a creamy pomade type of consistency Ooh, it's really soft I haven't touched it yet but yeah it's very soft I don't know how does this reminds me of like the texture itself is like very very soft sponge cake or something plus it smells delicious so i can't wait to try those two out now this is something that i've been hearing about for years and years and i was in walmart in a shopping mood and i picked this up after a really long time i know it's a lot of people's hg the cantu coconut curling cream this one is silicone free and I've seen people do some beautiful styles with this so I'm really excited about this one as well. Next up is something that is going to be for my pre-poo detangling category. A big old thing of VO5. This is in the Ocean Refresh um, fragrance slash variety and I'm always on the hunt for like big affordable conditioners that I can use to detangle and pre-poo my hair since I go through so much of those at one time so I wanted to try this one out this is one of the most exciting things that I have this is from the main choice their new pink lemonade and coconut line exclusively at Walmart right now but I think that they are going to have this line this weekend at the World Natural Hair Show. And if you are going to the World Natural Hair Show, have so, so much fun this weekend, please feel free to tag me on Instagram, your hauls. I would love to see pictures, but I did see a announcement that this will be there this weekend also. So that's really exciting. So I picked up the shampoo and the conditioner and the cream from the line the curl boosting sherbet the packaging on these like guys so pretty the packaging is just beautiful but i have not been able to find the mousse and i've been looking and looking since this line was released because i want to try a rod set with it but i have three out of the four which isn't bad so yes if you haven't been able to find this yet i think it's online on their website and it is also going to be at the hair show this weekend if you are going to be there as well so that is everything from Walmart. Walmart is really stepping it up. So the next up is, of course, Target, my favorite, my boo. And I have a ton of stuff from them that's on clearance. Have you guys noticed in your area that at one Target, you'll find stuff on clearance and you'll go to another one and that same stuff is regular price? I have kind of that situation going on. So I have the Karen's Body Beautiful Pomegranate Guava Sweet Ambrosia Leave-In Conditioner. And Mel Cherie did a review on this um, I don't know when but it was like a few months ago and I think that she um, her results were really really pretty in that video which is what made me want to get this I used to love Karen's Body Beautiful when they first came on the scene 
when I first went natural. They've gone through some like product reformulations, so I haven't really tried them since they've been available in Target, but her review and her results made me want to. So when I saw them on clearance, I said, let's give it a go because again, my hair goes through so much product. If I can find something that's on a deeply discounted sale, I'm gonna snap it up. And plus it smells really good. So another item that I have here that is actually not hair related is from Andulu Naturals. It's their Heavenly Night Cream for sensitive skin. I've been using a serum, serum from Andulu Naturals for a few years now and I'm also starting to use their, do I have it near me? It's somewhere. I've cleared everything around me so it's just the haul. So my normal skincare stuff is hiding somewhere in my bathroom. but. I use their night cream and I really really like it so this is a version that has roses and for sensitive skin and it's on clearance so I wanted to try this because it's really really great ingredients with this brand and I snapped it up because it's normally $25 and I think when I got it it was like 8 when they rang it up so I, I really like this line I'm gonna be doing a skincare video soon as well so I'm gonna be showing you what I do what I use and I've been loving my skin lately, knock on wood, because it wasn't the case about a month ago. So the other, another item that I have from Target is just some grapeseed oil. I saw it just randomly, it was three bucks. I said, sure, I love a nice grapeseed oil to mix into my products and to use on dry hair. So uh, another item that I have is the Kinky Curly Spiral Spritz. I used to really enjoy this product, it's very, very lightweight. So I would just use it on dry hair to smooth or add some shine and it made a nice little product if you had like a wonky curl and you wanted to just like apply something light to the ends to bring them back and this did a really good job and I also used it for a few roller sets with pretty good results too because of the consistency. Is that all my clearance? Nope, I have a couple more items or one more actually, no two. And this one is so random, I just thought this packaging was so kind of like sexy and sleek and I've never heard about this brand. It's from Kristen ESS, the Hydrating Curl Defining Cream for curly hair, frizz eliminating, moisture replenishing, strand strengthening, softness reviving. First saw this brand, I thought it was very, very pretty, but glancing at the ingredients, I was like, eh, maybe no. But this one looked pretty promising. It doesn't have any silicones in it and I was like, it's on clearance, so let's see what happens. So is the Carol's Daughter Mimosa Hair Honey for Protective Styles. It's a clarifying scalp treatment, kind of similar to the Shea Moisture stuff where it's focusing mostly on your scalp if you're going to be leaving your hair in a semi or long-term protective style. This is something that's always caught my eye, but full price, I was like, I don't know. But seeing on clearance, I was like, yes, please. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a tube with a little concentrator nozzle right here. And again, I can just like get on my roots and massage it in there. And it says that it gently cleanses the scalp, removes product buildup, which was really intriguing to me, and soothes and balances the scalp. So this is something that I've had on my eye on for a few years now. So we are gonna be trying that during my next protective style that's gonna be in for like a good little while, like two weeks or longer. So that's every, ooh, something was about to fall. I was like, don't do it. So that's, oh no, here's another little hidden. I see you there. So the Camille Rose Coconut Water Penetrating Hair Treatment. I really like this product. I have an upcoming review on the three coconut water items from Camille Rose, the leave-in, the deep conditioner or penetrating hair treatment, and their style setter. So I saw this on clearance. Again, something Camille Rose on clearance. I was like, Yes, ma'am. So I got this to replenish the one that's almost gone that I have right now. And that completes the clearance tour of the Target goodies. Now, the rest of the stuff is stuff that I think was maybe on sale or regular price. It's been a little while, so I don't remember, but it's all stuff that I cannot wait to try. Some of it I already have namely the TGIN Curl Bomb Gels. My mom got these for me because she loved my results using the gel when we were at Target. And she was like, there's only two left. I'm like, it's okay, there's gonna be some more. She was like, you never know for your products. I was like, thank you, ma'am. So she got me two of those. I'm really excited because I loved how they made my hair look when I smoothed it back. This smooths my hair like nothing else on dry hair. It's I love it. So you guys know in the review that I was all over this. 
for that purpose I think that was what I was the most excited about using it like that so I'm gonna be able to use this to my heart's content when I want to really get that look for a bun another item something else that I got in preparation to see if it can make the cut for my affordable curly products video is the L'Oreal Evercream sulfate free re-nourishing butter in the gardenia so this is like a rinse out conditioner but I like the fact that it has really nice rich oils in there which you don't normally see for L'Oreal there but it smells like gardenia and I love gardenia I love the fragrance it's silicone free so I'm gonna give it a go to see if it will be something else that I can recommend that's super duper affordable so another item that I have is the Jane Carter healthy hair frizz free styling smoother this one someone I think Lex natural on Instagram she posted about this that she got it for like three dollars at Walgreens which was epic but someone else said in her comments that it was one of the best most moisturizing detangling shampoos they've ever tried so I heard that my ears automatically perked up so it is the design essentials almond and avocado moisturizing and detangling sulfate free shampoo and it says it saves up to 30 minutes detangling time so all I had to see was that and I was like yes please plus it was the only one on the shelf so that is a good sign also from Target in the skincare range is the Biore deep cleansing pore strips these are like limited edition with like a cute a pattern I love these I get blackheads on my nose and my best friend slash roommate he also likes to use these now so I wanted to get these just because the pattern was cute and I was all out and it's the deep cleansing variety and I've noticed no big difference with the deep cleansing versus the regular one so it was mostly mostly because of the cute flower pattern that I wanted to try these now this oh no I'll save that for after because it's not from Target but it's like with the Target stuff so these two are also from the main choice from their kids line the sweet strawberry kids moisturizer and the fruit medley green apple kids leave-in conditioner so I don't have kids but I love the ingredients and I bet they smell amazing I haven't smelled these yet so I will try them and my cousin does have four kitties that I babysit a lot so I might try it on their hair, hair as well to see how it does perform for kids and see what their hair thinks of it also so also from Target are some items from Miel their moisturizing avocado hair milk and their flexible hold edge gel which I've been hearing really good things about for quite a while now so I'm really excited that this is available in store I don't really have much success with edge control but I just couldn't resist because I've been hearing such good things about this product mm, it smells good it does smell like the honey and ginger styling gel that I just reviewed a couple of weeks ago mmm it smells really good so yeah edge controls don't really give me like laid edges my edges don't want to be laid ever I feel like so I'm probably just gonna use this for like some a little bit of frizz control not expecting like you know the slick edges but we'll see what happens I love the smell of it though mm. I'll use it for the scent if nothing else so speaking of scent Shea Moisture also released some on-the-go fragrances. So these are on-the-go conditioning hair fragrance. And it comes in the Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil version. The Coconut and Hibiscus, which is my favorite. It's very, very sweet, just like the Coconut Hibiscus line. And the Raw Shea Butter fragrance. This one, not so much, but it's not horrible. So I'm going to be going to a lot of, like, barbecues and, like, probably to, I don't want to say the club, because I think I'm out of the club stage at this point. So I'm just going to be like out and about this summer. So it'll be cool to have this like spritz because you never know who you'll see while you're out. So I'm going to be keeping like one of these in my car just to give myself a little spritz if I'm like going out or something. Or if I'm somewhere where people are going to be like smoking. I hope not. But if I am, I can use this because it always seems to happen with me. I'll do my hair. It's like fresh, 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 like day one hair. And I'm around someone who's smoking. So this will come in handy for moments like that. So the next thing is something that may surprise you if you did see my Shea Moisture Kukui Nut review. And it is their little pillow packs of the Damage Rehab Treatment Mask from that line. Now I didn't plan to touch anything else from this stuff because my hair did not agree 
with this line from Shea Moisture, but a couple of people on Instagram tagged me with their results and said that this stuff actually has slip and moisture, unlike the conditioner from that line. So I decided to give it a like little safe try with these little packets. So we'll see what happens with that whole thing. This is something else that I've been hearing really good things about, and it's another brand. Uh, it's another brand that I don't usually check for too often. It is the Carol's Daughter Rasool Clay Softening Hair Mask. And the thing that intrigued me about this was that it has clay, but also seems to really focus on conditioning as well. So, we'll see Carol's daughter. I heard the shampoo and the conditioner was good, so I'm going to see how this works first before I see what those whole things are all about as well. So, I'm really excited about this one because the results I've seen from people who use it are really good. Plus, I really enjoy the smell. Mmm. It smells like a spa. I really like it. It's like lemongrass and it just smells really good. So it's everything from Target. One of my friends is a stylist and she gets new products to try all the time. And one of the things she got was the Diva Curl Heaven and Hair Intense Moisture Treatment that she was so sweet to give me because this stuff is really, really pricey, you guys. It's eight ounces and I want to say this is like $38. Um, it's something crazy like that. If I'm like super way off base, I'll put like a little annotation here. But yeah, I think this is $38. And it's something else that I've seen a lot of people have good results with. But that price tag had me like, I'm okay. So this is all that you get. So for my hair, I hope I can get two uses. But traditionally, as we know, that might not happen. But of course, it is 100% sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. So I'm excited to use it. I hope I don't fall in love with it because I'm just going to have to enjoy this one little experience with it because I really can't see myself paying that much for a deep conditioner. Maybe if they had like a 50% off type of deal during Black Friday. So I don't know. So I will enjoy it while it lasts. So next is some Sally's goodies. Now this is another thing if I fall in love with it oh well because it's actually discontinued and I had wanted to try this for a really long time. Chrono Curls did a review using this product about a year ago and her results were gorgeous and Natural 85 also did one not that long ago so I went to Sally's and finally got it. The Ion Color Brilliance Metallics Temporary Rose Gold. Her results were beautiful. So I went and got them and these were the last two and they are discontinued. So I need to do this like, I don't want to say my birthday, but I want to do it on like a special occasion because it's once it's gone, it's gone since they don't make it anymore, which sucks because it's temporary. It seemed to give good results on natural hair, really dark hair, no damage. So I'm really sad that this is gone. I guess enough people weren't buying it, I don't know, but I'm going to have fun with this on like a special day. I don't know when, but sometime, and see what it does to my hair because I don't plan to put any real color on my hair anymore, so I'm also doing an updated hair color video really soon as well. So, also from Sally's, someone wanted me to get this to review it, and I went and picked it up from Sally's, and I got home. And the look of it totally didn't meet my expectations. So this is the Shea Moisture Heatless Curl Stretch Gel. This is also a product that Natural 85 reviewed very recently. And it says it's a stretch gel. But let me show you what it looks like. It looks like some deep conditioner like cream. Like what, what gel are we speaking of here? So I'm a little hesitant to use this. I will not be trying this on a wash and go because I already know that's not going to work. So I'll try it on a twist out and or a set of twists. That's like my go-to to try like stylers that I don't know what's going to happen. So I don't really smell that usual raw shea butter scent. Okay, once you get in there, you kind of smell it. So it smells the same as that stuff, but it didn't look the way I anticipated it to with the whole heatless stretch gel thing. Also from Shea Moisture, their Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Smoothie. Been hearing um, mostly good stuff about this, so I probably will be using this um, before it gets too, too hot because I am going to be using it by itself. And usually when it gets really hot outside, I need like a leave-in, a gel, the whole layering of products. So I probably won't be able to get away with this for another like a month, month and a half maybe around here. 
also from Sally's, the Jane Carter Cleansing and Conditioning Co-Wash. Jazziness Curls did a great review on this. Main Objective did. So many people, and I'm not usually a co-wash person, but the way they made this stuff sound, I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a go. Plus I had an awesome coupon, it was on sale, plus Sally's had another coupon, so this was three bucks, so I can't go wrong. Summer is the time when I usually co-wash more anyway, so it's a win-win. And last but not least from Sally's is the another Carol's Daughter goodie for me, the Procoxy Nectar Style Control Gel. I really like the packaging. I saw that um, the majority of the items had some silicones in it. This one doesn't, so I am going to be giving it a go. Um, like I mentioned, I don't really use silicones. A couple of my products do have them, but I like to overall keep them on the lower end of the spectrum in the products that I try out. So I'm really excited about this one because people's results seem really nice. Next up is Sorenzo, and just as a reminder while it's on my mind, till April 30th so a few more days left this month you can still use my code to get the infamous clay wash that I love for $10 I'll put the code right up here um, just in case you still wanted to check it out you do still have a few days until the 30th so while I'm on to them that popped in my head so I want to give you a reminder for anyone who still wants to take advantage of that awesome sale so the first thing that I have from them is the Va Vanilla Spray Leave-In Conditioner. The Va Vanilla Hair Pudding. I want to say vanilla, but I want to add the Va Va part. So the Va Vanilla Hair Pudding. The Va Vanilla Avocado Heavy Cream. And the Peppermint and Tea Tree Hair Cleansing Cream. I said on Instagram that I wanted to try using the clay wash every week for a month and Sarah the owner of Sorenzo she was like don't you do that she was like use the hair cleansing cream as your regular wash not the clay wash every wash that even though it's so tempting because it makes my hair feel so amazing so I'll try this instead to see how this does as a regular cleanser and kind of compare the two in a future video as well and the last thing that I have from Sorenzo is the apple honey creamy oil you guys this stuff smells so good just through the container oh my gosh just through this tube it's so sweet and kind of like caramelized and oh my gosh I'm, I'm using this in my hair you guys I'm using this as like man bait this summer it smells so good delicious so that is everything from Sorenzo next up is my beloved VO5 you guys I think we're at the point now I've been talking about this stuff for like seven years. I think we're at the point where I think it's getting discontinued. I was at my local Rite Aid and I saw this in the clearance section and it was 31 cents, which is a great deal, but I haven't seen it since then in any other places and that doesn't bode too well. So I got five of them. I was going to try to hold them all up at once, but I just feel that they're going to fall. I just have a feeling it's 3.30 in the morning something's gonna fall so I got five of these I hope they're not discontinued but I think they are so if you love this like I do check your local drugstores in the clearance section if you haven't seen it in a while so you can stock up but I don't know well we'll see if I hear anything different I will let you guys know in a future video for sure so I got five of those next up is also something I got multiples of from CVS they had a really good online sale I got Seven of my beloved, my favorite leave in conditioner of all time, the Shea Moisture Superfruit um, Rinse Out Conditioner that I use as a leave in, but it makes a phenomenal leave in, rinse out, deep conditioner. Um, what else? On dry hair, it's a great moisturizer. So I got seven of these because it's like my holy grail, holy grail. Also, during the CVS sale, I picked up the Shea Moisture 100% Coconut Oil Conditioner. Now, this is a line that I was like, okay, I think we'll be good. My hair loves coconut oil. I think it's going to give me some moisture. But Product Junkie Diva, whose reviews I absolutely love. She makes me want to shop each and every video that I see her do. She's amazing. She said that the shampoo makes this look like whatever in the moisture department. She said the shampoo is the shining star. It left her hair feeling super duper moisturized and hydrated and this almost takes away from the moisture that the shampoo gave her for the first time ever i want to try the shampoo in a line 
more than the conditioner so I haven't seen it yet in person I order online next time I see like a good sale or something because she has me want to try that so much I'm gonna try this on dry hair first to kind of test the moisture levels before diving head in and using this as a deep conditioner so um, oh it is a rinse out conditioner but I don't use rinse outs as such I use them either on dry hair to moisturize as a leave-in or as a deep conditioner so we'll be playing around with it in those different ways and I like the packaging it's so nice aesthetically pleasing so the infamous eco styler gel I looked and looked and looked for these and a bunch of people told me where I could order online so if you're watching now and you told me about a website thank you so so much I put these in my cart but because I don't really love eco styler it hurt me in my heart to pay shipping for eco styler I know that sounds bad but these were like the these are basically like the hot thing that everyone for the most part everyone wants to try in the natural hair community so I have been looking for them for a really long time to do a review on them and I tried my local beauty supply stores which I hate the vibe in most beauty supply stores we talked about that on Instagram I just they're so rude and awkward and it's just I don't like it so I finally went into the one that's closest to me that's the most like raggedy of all of the ones that I've been to in my area and lo and behold they had it so I picked up the coconut version which is 16 ounces and then I picked up the black castor and flaxseed which is the one I really wanted to try the most in a teeny little 8 ounce so this one is like double the size of this one and this one was $3.99 this was $2.69 so I'm hoping to get at least two uses out of this maybe even three depending on how it applies to my hair and I've heard the most um, rave reviews about the black castor and flaxseed one too. I'm just trying to debate do I want to do a wash and go or do I want to do a twist out like twist type of deal with these so I have to see what that wash day is looking like. No you know what it's going to be? I'm going to test them out each section and see if I feel it in the air if it's going to be a wash and go success story or if it's going to be a fail so I'm going to like come up with it as I go in that video so I'm really happy to have these this is like a going on a treasure hunt trying to find this I've never searched so hard for a product before so I hope they're good so next or actually last is Sultanicals I got a lot of stuff from Sultanicals you guys since Black Friday they've had some amazing sales like they normally do and they just wrote me in so one of my orders was just some favorites that I wanted to re-up on as well as some things that I never tried before so they re-released their curly grail pumpkin coconut styling cocktail this was included in the fall coilaments bundle so they released it by itself I've been wanting to try this next item for a long time but it always sells out the lock and roll hibiscus flow hair follicle growth butter it smells so good this is something that I used to absolutely love but they totally changed the consistency the kitty tanicles double dutch hair yum it used to be more of a solid butter but now it's a cream totally different consistency than the first time I tried it it smells so good still the scent is still there so I'm happy so I used to love that product but now it's basically a different product so I wanted to try it to see how my hair responded to it now another favorite the Marula Maru Moisture Guru they've changed the scent on this and I like it so much more than the old scent oh my gosh I need a moment you guys mm. I don't know how to describe it it's like spicy and just it's delicious the old version smell like bananas this smells like I don't know like I just want to taste it even though I know it's a bad idea because it's a hair product but it smells so good they just continue to impress me with their scents on their stuff and last but not least another item I've been wanting to try for a long time is their can't believe it's not cocoa it is the cocoa version of their infamous not butter and it smells so good and every time I try this tried to get this it would sell out and it smells chocolatey delicious I usually like chocolate scents but this one's really good and Sultanicals also has changed their packaging so it's really nice and professional it used to be kind of I don't want to say it's like paper but it was like that type of 
label that would like bleed a little bit and I don't know it was weird but this is these are like awesome like we're good to go now it's not gonna like run or get on your fingers or anything so they've changed the packaging now which I'm really really happy about and another thing that I love about Sultanicals is that they have contests all the time so during my Black Friday order I believe it was they included like a little bingo card so if you got the items on the bingo card and you cross them off then you got a free item so I decided to get the Frotanicals Manoi Moisture Slip Deep Conditioning Fertilizing Dip I've been hearing a lot of good things about that as well and it was always sold out so when it came back in stock I was like mine so this was free which I absolutely love and this is another item that I won in one of their contests a humongous 32 ounce of the curl blaze hair glaze guys I was so excited when I won so I actually have used this in the past so I'm excited to have like a nice big size so that I can do a review on it and try it a few more different ways because before I had an 8 ounce so that went pretty quickly so I love this big old size so last but not least from Sultanicals and for my haul is I ordered their spring coilaments bundles I love getting their seasonal bundles now it's like a tradition for me the only one I need now is the summer one and then I will have had all of them so then I can see which ones um, or which products in each one that my hair responds to the best and see which winners that I have. So for the spring bundle it came with the mainstay hentonite clay so this has henna in it which made me really excited to try because I've never used a clay that has henna in it. I don't have much experience with henna in general so that one was one of the things that really really tipped the scale for me to decide to get the bundle. Another item that tipped it for me was the sprung coil boosting jelly. Anything that's like a styler I get curious about. This is like a cream based styler. It's white and I like the ingredients. Another item that piqued my interest was the Frizz Whiz curl defining leave-in and the length retention damaged hair detention so it's kind of like a ends only treatment similar to the main choice item that comes from the Egyptian line it kind of reminds me of that can I get to it yes yay so yeah it kind of reminds me of that the split end treatment as far as um, concentrating it on the ends but you can also put it on the length of your hair unlike this one that specifically tells you to just put it on your ends so I'm excited to try this one now these other items were the reason I was on the fence about getting the bundle at all because I was like I don't know if I'm going to use them but I'm glad that I got the whole bundle because I think there's some different ways I can use these items so first up is the healthy hair deep cleansing scalp scrub now the reason I wasn't really feeling the whole scalp scrub thing is because my hair is so thick I it was like how am I going to effectively use a scalp scrub so I'm just going to have to part my hair into more sections when I use this so that I can get to my scalp and focus it there versus it getting all in my hair plus it smells really really good it smells like oops I was like did something come out it smells like warm oatmeal or something. It smells really good. Another item that I have is the Vegan Love Scalp Rub. This has green tea, neem, and turmeric. This is like a hair grease basically that you kind of grease your scalp with. And I have a ton of butters and oils. So I was like, I don't know about this one. But I do like the fact that it has green tea, black castor oil, turmeric. So it has unique ingredients which is something that Sultanicals does really well so I will definitely find a use for this in my hair stash and in my regimen and last but not least this was the item that I was like how are we going to really use you so this is the Sprout Fertile Roots Volumizing Kopu I have never heard of a Kopu it says that it is a co-wash that foams actually so I was like I don't have any place for this whatsoever and it's volumizing I don't need anything else in the thickness department we're good there so I um, am gonna try this and see how it does and I don't know how effective it is gonna be to cleanse my hair since I use pretty copious amounts of product and I like to use thick product so we're gonna play around with this one but overall I'm really happy that I did get the Coleman's bundle because I do like the idea of seeing what things I like the most in each bundle and now after the summer one I'll have like a comprehensive full year 
of the bundle which is really cool but um that is the last item in my haul I cannot wait to do the reviews. As always, I would love to know which products that you would like to see reviews on first. I still have a long list of the items from my previous haul. I do my hair a little bit less frequently now, which I am absolutely loving. So I don't try products as frequently as I used to because my hair is getting in much better condition lately, which is amazing. So I am still working on that, but they are definitely coming. I think the most requested video was on the she scented papaya line and there's eight items so it's taking me a little while to get through them but i'm almost at the end so that video is coming really soon but like yeah just let me know what products you like to see reviews on so that i can make sure to add them to the list and get to them a little bit quicker hopefully and yeah um like i mentioned if you are going to the world natural hair show this year have an amazing time i just got an email that the main Choice is going to be having 50% off for a limited time. So if they're on your list, hit them up quickly so that you can take advantage of that because they said the sale will be decreasing by the hour or something like that. Like basically it's gonna start from 50 and then go down. So hit them up first so you can get 50% off. I know their booth is gonna be insane. Um, Camille Rose is gonna be releasing a lavender limited edition gel. They always release new stuff at the hair shows and um, I need you guys to get some so you can tell me what you think of it and if it's awesome because I'm sure she'll probably release it down the road. So I can't wait to see your hauls. Make sure to tag me. What else? There's something else. Oh, guys, I'm obsessed with my hair today. I used those products that I mentioned in my... This is actually 13-day hair. Like, seriously, the same twist I had in my last video that Sultanicals Afro Cider Twist Mist, those same exact twists lasted me 12 days. So this is day one of my twist out, but this is day 13 since I've washed my hair. I am in awe, I'm in love. I'm gonna talk a lot more about Earth Tones Naturals in a future video, but this is one of the best twist outs I've ever had. So I need to just stop touching it so I don't mess it up but yeah so we will be talking about earth tones naturals very very soon but one of my favorite twist outs of all time so yeah guys it is 5 a.m. oh my god can you guys see that my camera battery keeps dying so I have to keep recharging it so again thank you so much for watching let me know which products catch your eye the most that you'd like to see reviews on. I have tons of reviews coming up in the next few weeks. And yeah, so thank you guys again, and I will see you in next week's video. Take care, everyone. Bye.